One of the most pressing issues in this 2016 election is the fate of the, Supre of the Supreme Court. And just leaked emails from WikiLeaks may give a glimpse into Hillary Clinton's plans for that court. Fox News chief legal correspondent Shannon Bream has the story. Among the newly released emails WikiLeaks attributes directly to the Clinton campaign is an October 2015 conversation among staffers about how the candidate planned to address guns. In the exchange, Clinton Press Secretary Brian Fallon referenced plans to brief reporters on, quote, specific proposals she would support as president, universal background checks, of course, but also closing the gun show loophole by executive order and imposing manufacturer liability. The so-called gun show loophole, which Clinton referenced again in Sunday night's debate, is a mischaracterization by the left at best and perhaps more accurately described as a myth. Background checks do take place at gun shows and just about everywhere else, with the rare exception for private transactions between individuals who are not firearms dealers and live in the same state. The issue of gun control is in the spotlight this election season because of an open seat on the Supreme Court, following the unexpected death of the court's staunchest defender of individual gun rights, Justice Antonin Scalia. Okay. Just days ago, with the presidential election looming, Justice Stephen Breyer publicly discussed his belief that the Second Amendment was meant for state militias. That's what I thought they were talking about, which is not the right of an individual to keep a gun next to his bed. Conservative court watchers expect the man tapped to fill Scalia's seat, appellate judge Merrick Garland, to back Clinton's efforts to restrict individual gun ownership should he ultimately be confirmed, prompting election ads like this one. In two separate cases, Garland has demonstrated his strong hostility to gun owner rights. He even sided with the federal government on keeping personal information on anyone who purchases a gun. And it's notable that when Clinton was asked Sunday night what she would prioritize in selecting a Supreme Court justice, she said this. I respect the Second Amendment, but I believe there should be comprehensive background checks, and we should close the gun show loophole and close the online loophole. The Clinton team has made clear she has her eyes set on a combination of using executive action and legislation to tighten gun controls. She's also praised programs in other countries that actually work to take back guns that are currently legally owned. Brett. Shannon, uh, getting back to Justice Breyer, it was a little striking to hear him say that uh, in a television broadcast about a matter that may again come before the court. Mm -hmm. But his position on this issue is, is, not, uh, is not news, is it? No. One of the biggest cases uh, just a few years ago dealing with D.C.'s very strict gun laws, he wrote a dissent. And so it was clear that that's how he feels about right. this position. But striking that he would talk about it in the days leading up to an election and the fact that this uh, very well could become a, an issue before the court again. Shannon, thank you. Mm -hmm.